What's up guys? If you had left a comment in the comment section of the last weekend video or it shouldn't be last weekend. It's the it's the spreadsheet and resources uh, video that I ended up doing. Then you are entered into the giveaway of six 30-day patron passes and two recs. And if you're somebody that has used my referral link in the description below my videos in order to create your Rift account, and you're one of the recs winners, then you win 10 times that amount of recs. And the winners are... Bam! Congratulations! We'll be sending your prizes to you just shortly. If it isn't super fast, don't get mad. I mean, sometimes I, I'm pretty slow with sending out the prizes. I think the last winners are still waiting on theirs. I'll, I'll get them out just shortly. Since my last giveaway video, we have had no donations at all. And of course, donations spur giveaways on my channel. But I'll still give away something. Uh, let's do a 30 day patron pass. How's that sound? So all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below with your character name and server. And make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and be sure to hit that like button. We will choose a winner in our next giveaway video and get the prize to you just shortly if you're the winner. Good luck everybody. What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're going to go over the Primalist class and it just got released so we're going to test it out and well not really do too much testing. I'm basically going to give you guys my first impression of it, uh, give you a little bit of rundown how it runs and stuff like that because we're going to be doing the Dervish uh, soul on this particular video. We'll probably do videos on the other souls as well as uh, I get time to. But this is mainly going to be a rambling kind of video so if you don't like listening to me ramble on about things and kind of draw up thoughts as I'm going along then you probably want to skip this video because it's going to be a lot of grim just going hmm I wonder I wonder so basically the dervish soul is the single target DPS soul in the primalist class and as you can see here we got the dervish which is 31 points here uh, you can actually go uh, like 28 point builds and stuff like that. I've seen people uh, brainstorming about that already. So, but the 31 point build, you get all of the abilities here, such as Earthfall, which is a big burst ability by the look of it. And of course, you get all the way up to Primal Avatar, which is going to give you the Wind Serpent, which is probably going to be another burst, but we'll go over that just shortly. And at, for people that haven't seen the soul trees yet for Primalist, this is, of course, 31 point builds. It's not 61 point like uh, we're used to. This is basically a crunch on the soul trees. Uh, things such as, uh, take for instance, there is an interrupt that you can use on uh, opponents with this that will also debilitate them. But it's all in one ability, whereas uh, in the past, you would have to put a point into the interrupt and then put another point into making that interrupt have a debilitate attached to it. That is not the way that this is going to run. This is a crunch to it all and just combines it all from the get-go. So you don't have to put a bunch of points into a bunch of different things that aren't really necessary, so to say. And... I went ahead and went into Vulcanus, which is the ranged soul. There are four souls with Primalist right now. There is the Dervish, the Vulcanist, which is the ranged soul, and then Titan, which is the tanking soul, and then Preserver, which is the healing soul. So we went into Dervish with 31 points, and I just threw points into it. I, I didn't really uh, try to come up with the absolute best build that I could or anything because this is just a first look and... Uh, whenever I try to come up with a really good build for a first look video, uh, it's only a couple months after it's released and I think about how wrong I was about it. So I'm not even going to put that much effort into it as in building a, a ultimate soul build or something like that. So we went into Dur uh, the Vulcanist because I knew it would give us stuff like attack power and all that. Um, we went ahead and picked the titan soul as our third soul even though it does not seem to be worth it because the abilities that i'm looking at it's not really anything that we would probably use it's pretty fast in the the titan soul that you start getting stuff like guard and uh 
dodge or whatever else is in, uh, block and guard should I say it it's not really stuff that we're we're really wanting to focus on right now we're wanting to go all DPS so we went with Dervish, Vulcanist, and there's probably other builds that you can do with uh, Preserver. It might be able to be built in a certain way, such as we used to run Warlord Paladin, where you could heal yourself with a big heal or something like that. I haven't looked at Preserver enough yet to see if that is a viable option, because I don't know how far up the tree all the good heals are, but it's something that we'll look forward to in a future video for sure. And... Um, so the masteries right now this is of course is the alpha version of uh primalist so a lot of stuff is not done yet if you want to test it out just just jump on the pts because it's being tested out right now by lots of players and if you don't know how to get on the pts all you have to do is go to glyph and at the top right of the glyph launcher it has the ability to uh go to like north american servers european servers and then the pts so jump on the PTS, patch up, go ahead and build you a, a Primalist character. And the Masteries over here, they look like they're very uh, alpha, should I say. Because none of them are unique to a Primalist build just yet. They're basically the generic stuff that we're used to with about every other build that... Uh, such as, take for instance this one on the bottom here that almost every single class has, I believe, which is while in combat you heal 25% of your endurance every 3 seconds. Yeah, that's stuff that we're used to, and even going all the way up, that is obviously uh, the soul stream and uh, power manipulation right there, and, or energy manipulation. Uh, it's just stuff that we're used to where uh, nothing is unique to it It isn't any of the abilities just yet or saying, you know, anytime you use Earthfall, this will happen or something like that the, Nothing is specific to Primalist on the Masteries just yet at the time of recording this video anyway All right, so other things to go over about Primalist is it is a dex based class now it was uh, originally thought up to be a mixture of dex and strength where it'd be equal on both of them so you would go into both stats uh, but they've since changed that and at the time of the recording of this video now it is a dex based class with strength being a secondary stat and uh, the weapons that they use is going to be a two-handed weapon so one-handers is just not going to be an option for a primalist which will make it to where uh, they'll have their own type of weapons because normally anybody that's going to use a two-handed weapon is you know whenever dealing with strength or dex is going to be a warrior that wants to go for strength you know you don't have rogues with two-handed weapons so They'll be looking for strength weapons, whereas a Primalist will be looking for the Dex version of the two-handed weapons. And as far as armor, they're, got, they're, they're going to be using uh, leather armor that is Dex-based. So yes, they are going to be taken away from the Rogue class in that aspect. Uh, I know that they were trying to make a big effort and not making the loot tables really skewed like that. They were trying to make it to where... Uh, nobody would be stepping on the other person's feet, so to say. And I see somebody in chat, somebody saying a one button dervish build, 130k T3 gear. Hmm. All right. We might have an overpowered spec right here. We'll, we'll see how it pans out. I'm curious what you guys are going to come up with because I'm just kind of fiddling around with it, wanting to give a first look. But some of you guys are going to be standing at the test dummies and just really trying to break the class. And I, if you guys come up with a really good build, send me uh, what you came up with. You can go to my YouTube page and go up to the About button and there will be another button that says uh, Send Message. And you can send me a private message and send me what kind of crazy build you come up with. And if I use it in a video, I'll definitely give you the credit. So... Alright, so we went over the bar down at the bottom, which is basically the fury and cunning aspects of the Primalist. You know, you go from one end to the next, you use abilities that will uh, make that go from one end to the next, should I say. Such as if we cast like Aftershock, it'll make 20 points go into cunning, which will make this bar move to the right side towards cunning. And once you get to the... Uh, 
full side of cutting, I believe it raises your chance to land critical hits. Uh, if you go all the way into the Fury side, it's going to increase your da overall damage. I hope I didn't mix those up. I'm kind of going off the top of my head with it. So it's, it's something that we kind of have to guess on how it should be played. Because do we want to go from one end of the spectrum to the other and get both of the bonuses, you know, for however long they last? Uh, or do we want to stay at one side of the spectrum? I'm thinking that we need to go from one side to the next and really uh, benefit from both the buffs. I'll kind of go over what I'm talking about in just a moment. Because there are certain abilities that react in certain ways. A lot of this is reactive abilities. So take for instance if we cast this ability here called Lashing Wind. This is going to make our next Aftershock hit for 20% more damage. Well then, you have Aftershock down here. Well, if we cast this ability here, which I don't even know how to say it, Seismic uh, Smash, it'll make our next three air cutter casts uh, increase 20% damage. So up here we got the air cutter, which is a cast time ability. So I'm thinking that we might be able to do like a builder and finisher with that. I'm not sure. It's just kind of an idea to where we could have the uh, smash here and the lashing wind as a builder where it'll cast one and then cast the other. And then you can go into a finisher basically that is going to cast uh, aftershocks, which are not on a global cooldown. Uh, and then it'll go into the air cutter, which will be a cast time ability. So it might be pretty cool to use those, especially with Aftershock having a two second cooldown. You can immediately hit that, cast it off, and then go right into the air cutter. So that could be a builder and finisher, but there seems to be a lot of potential for burst with this build as well. Um, Take for instance, if we go all the way into the Fury side of the bar, if we're using abilities to build all the way up to the Fury side, uh, once there we can use a ability, let's see here, I believe it's Earthfall here. Okay, this is where it comes into the flurry of attacks that the developers have been talking about this build with. Uh, basically it's a channeled ability for three seconds and it's going to do basically a hundred thousand or close to a hundred thousand damage every second for three seconds to the enemy okay that's a lot of damage right there all right so it deals more damage the closer you are to full fury and it can be cast while moving so and also it'll move the focus 100 points towards cunning i'm not too sure how many points the spectrum of the bar is down there but it might be 50, uh, 50 points on each side, so it might go all the way over to the other side on the cutting side. That will set up a pretty massive burst because we can go all the way into Fury, hit our Earthfall, it's going to do 300,000 damage or whatever we're going to be doing. And then once over there, you can pop your Primal Avatar, which is basically your Wind Serpent head that it's going to appear. And that's going to make you go full cunning and lock it down there to where it'll do all the abilities that you want here. Such as, uh, it basically is a 10 second ability here that channels your primal avatar, increasing your damage dealt by 20%, increasing your range to 35 meters, which will make your melee build now a ranged build with burst going on. And then it reduces your cast times to zero. All right, so you guys can kind of realize what kind of uh, abilities this is going to be doing. I mean, it's going to be cast times down to zero. So is it going to be the air cutters are going to be able to be spammed or, you know, what's going to go on there? You kind of wonder. But if you went all the way on to Fury and then you used your channel ability and then popped uh, the Wind Serpent Avatar, that'll mean that you have the temporary buff from going full Fury, and then you go full Cunning and get that ability, and then the Avatar is going to give you 20% more damage on top of that, make it arranged, uh, all of your abilities ranged, and yeah, put your cast times at zero. So you're going to get the buffs from both sides, 
more damage on top of it, more critical hit. I mean, just a lot of stuff is going to be going on. And you can imagine what kind of burst is going to be going on in that 10 second span where you have zero cast time. So there's a there's a lot of possibilities here. I'm not too sure how strong it's going to be, but it's sounding like it's going to be pretty amazing. Uh, another thing is you got the buff down here, which is a self buff that when you critical hit, your damage and healing are increased by 1% for 15 seconds, stacks up to five times. You know, that doesn't seem too substantial, but once you go into where your damage is increased by however much the full fury is going to be, and then you go into the opposite side where your uh, critical hit is going to be increased or whatever it's going to do, and then you stack this buff with it, and, you know, it's just going to be a lot of stuff stacking together, and it's going to be a really powerful build, I believe. Uh, it might be something that they're going to have to tone back. I don't know. We'll have to see. Then you got another buff here, which increases your run speed by uh, 20%. So, yeah. You're going to be ranged. You're going to be moving 20% faster. You're going to be hit hard. You're going to have multiple bursts. It sounds like it's going to be a devastating build. All right. So, what else do we get from uh, this other... Uh, let's see. Might be all right there. Uh... Vulcanist, we got a few things here. Increases critical hit chance by 3%. Alright, there you go. So you got more things like that. And uh, another channeled ability, which is a fury ability. So there's lots of things that we can do with this build. Uh, what, what goes on in Vulcanist and Titan and uh, Preserver is not really what we're focusing on in this video. We're mainly wanting to see what we can do with Dervish, but I was kind of wanting to glance at them to see what we get anyway. So, yeah, going to be a very fun build to do. Uh, another thing that should be pointed out is there's several abilities that uh, we are familiar with, like charges, pulls, you know, stuff like that. Uh, take, for instance, this Rock Slide is a charge. It roots your enemy. It does damage to... Five enemies around you it's very familiar with us uh, of course you got another you got a pool called squall and uh, that's gonna be really interesting because it increases the chance of critically hitting the target by 5% for one minute so yeah you're gonna be wanting to pull people all the time because it's going to increase your critical hit chance so yeah lots of things gonna be going on here uh, so it'll be familiar ground with the charges, the pulls, the burst abilities, possibly even builders and finishers, but you know, with the, the primalist bar with the cunning and fury, it's going to add a whole new aspect to it all to where, uh, you'll be using abilities that may benefit from fury. You might be using cunning abilities that'll benefit, uh, I'm not too sure. You may uh, try to hit one end of the spectrum and then say you go all the way on the Fury side and then you're going to use all cunning abilities after that to try to get all the way to the other side to keep these buffs going. That might be the way to go. And there's also stuff like this Savage Twister that will uh, do extra damage the closer you are to Harmony, which is exactly in the middle. Lots of things going on here, guys. But... It seems like it's going to be a very strong build, a very fun build, and I highly recommend you guys jump on the PTS and test it out for yourselves. Alright, so that's my first thoughts on it, and I'll give you a kind of a overview of what it will probably be. Uh, things can change along the way. Uh, you guys definitely influence a lot of that, so if somebody gets on here and starts running around one-shotting people, you better believe a developer is going to be changing some stuff, so... And they just changed it into a deck space class just recently. So that's pretty substantial right there of a change. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. As usual, my name is Graham, and I'll see you next time.